Hi, and welcome to Jabsco Tech. I'm Mark Irvin. And I'm Paul Campania. And today, talking about toilets. What do you think, Paul? Another great day to talk about toilets on Jabsco Tech. Right now, we have a 37045 or a 37245. These are the quiet flush toilets, and uh, Paul's going to walk you through a servicing day for you. Know. What's that entail? So what we're going to do to service this, we're going to change an O-ring, we're going to change a seal. Um, there's also a joker valve that comes in the kit, but that's already done on a previous video. So that's pretty much what we're going to do. It's a relatively easy toilet to service. So let's take a look at it and get to it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here we go. We're going to uh, pull apart this uh, motor assembly. First of all, we need a few tools, uh, the Phillips head, a couple of flat blade screwdrivers, 332nd Allen wrench, and the nut drivers are 7 sixteenths, and also some lube. Uh, you also want to have some gloves handy, uh, and make sure the power is disconnected from the toilet. Okay, so let's get into it. Here the cover comes off, and we've got our four screws. Remember to have some rags handy because you probably will get some uh, water coming out when this assembly comes off. Okay, it should pull straight out. And there we have it. We've got the four screws. Thank you, Mike. We've got the O-ring there that we're going to change out that O-ring. And starting in there we have the uh, chopper plate. So that's the next thing to take off. So we're going to need our nut driver and our flat blade screwdriver. Screwdriver at the back of the shaft to uh, hold the shaft. And just undo it so you get the back of the shaft for the flat blade, nut driver on the chopper plate. And then just to pull that chopper plate off, just pull the whole assembly, the uh, whole housing off. There we go, pop straight off. We have a chopper plate, chopper plate, and a housing. Okay, so next is the impeller. So it has the uh, 332nd Allen wrench. Just need to undo that. You don't need to take out this set screw all the way, just a couple of turns. And the impeller will slide off the shaft. There we go. Next, we're going to change that seal in there so that we've got to take off uh, this housing. Phillips head screwdriver. If you are concerned, you can always get a marker to mark where the screws are. Two screws, just pull straight off, and there we have it. This screw is going to stay in there. Now we want to push that or get that seal out of there. Flat blade screwdriver can only pick it out uh, without trying to damage anything else. Come out. There we go, we got it. Okay, it's the old seal, so now we've got our kit, the 90197-0000 has a joker valve, an O-ring, and a new seal. 
I'm going to push this new seal in that area. Make sure it seats all the way down. Okay, and then we can slide it straight back onto the shaft. And light up your holes for your screws. Them up firm, you don't need to over tighten them, you don't want to break anything. Okay, next we need to put the impeller back on so the flat section of the impeller goes on the flat section of the shaft. Push that on, Allen wrench. chopper plate which also has a, a flat section on there and the tab goes to the back and it sits over the flat section. Okay, that's on there. And our nut. Start the nut off, get your nut driver, flat blade wrench, screwdriver. Hold the back of the shaft as you do the nut up on the chopper. Make it nice and firm. Okay, and there we have it. It's all back together. The next step will be to uh, put the motor assembly back onto the toilet, um, which in that process we'll put plenty of lubricant on the airing and we'll put it back onto the toilet. Okay, so now we're going to put the uh, Motor assembly back onto the toilet. Good thing is to get some uh, get some lube and put it on the O-ring. Helps hold it in place as you're installing it back onto the base of the toilet. So in the groove, a bit of grease so that way it holds it in place. Keyway, keyway on here, goes at the 12 o'clock position. There it goes, and in it goes. Put a screw in there to hold it in place, second one. Okay, so then just do it up firm. We don't want to go too tight because we don't want to crack any of the plastics. The earrings in there to stop it from leaking. Okay, come up to the last one. Okay, so there we have it. Put the motor assembly back on, put the cover back on, and there you go. So we've just changed out the O-ring, uh, changed out the seal, 
and put it all back together. So that was pretty easy, what do you think? Yeah, no, it's a very easy tire to work on, Mike. Uh, you know, once you change the seal, uh, the O-ring, uh, you should have no problems from here on in. Safety tips? Safety tips, always make sure that the power is disconnected when you, before you start the toilet, and always wear gloves, and have some rags handy just so you can clean up any mess. And when you're done, don't forget to clean and disinfect all of your tools, and because we're coming in contact with uh, human waste, so you want to make sure everything's tidied up. Great idea, Mike. So this is a great episode of Jabs Cotech. We hope uh, this helped you out. My name is Mike Irving. And I'm Paul.